is worse stuck here in the middle of the ocean with Mikey and JJ's families. Oh, no. What do we do? We need to build boats, guys. Whoa, you're right, Wudo. I'm going to build a boat right now so we can survive. My boat's going to be way better than yours, Mongo. No, it's not, Wudo. Look, I already started building my one. And Axie, are you going to help me build? Yeah, I guess I'll help you. What kind of boat are we going to be building? We're going to be building the biggest boat in the world so Mikey and JJ's family can live inside of it and so we can survive all the sharks in the ocean. Look, Axie, all I need to do is just make the boat this big and then take the axe over here on my inventory and just select two blocks and boom. What we're going to have is a giant area that we can work with for the boat. Cool. Can I put cakes everywhere? Wait, what? Why would you put cakes everywhere, Axie? We didn't even build the kitchen yet. We don't need a kitchen if we can put cakes everywhere. Yes, you need a kitchen, Axie. Look, I just built the front of the boat over here. And now what I'm going to do is build the back area over here, just like this. Check it out, Axie. We have the structure of our boat, which means we can start putting down everything over here here starting with the front of the boat over here where the captain of the ship is gonna be driving the boat oh who's gonna be the captain can i be the captain sure axie it can be you that's the captain all i need to do is just grab the wheel just like this over here and check it out axie we now have the steering wheel of the boat which means whenever i go on this chair and start using this what i can do is start driving driving the boat but let's not drive it just yet because we don't really have anything here come on let's start working on the actual boat what do you say i thought we were already done with the actual boat no silly we're nowhere near done all i need to do is grab some fences just like this and come on help me out by putting these fences over here so we don't accidentally fall into the sea i think the sea is great to accidentally fall fall into unless you get eaten by a shark well there's sharks all over this ocean axie i don't think we want to fall into it look what i'm gonna do over here is get some wooden logs just like this and i'm gonna start making a room in the back area axie oh what's gonna be in there we can decide after we build the room but it needs to be things that are useful because you never know how long we're gonna be at sea for that's true Mongo. All sorts of terrible things could happen, like a shark attack or an alien invasion. Exactly, Axie. I don't trust the ocean that much. So come on, help me out by building the structure of the room over here. Just like this. There you go. This boat is gonna look so cool when we're done with it. It's definitely gonna be way better than Wudo's boat. I don't really know what he's doing over there. Yeah, I think he's just standing there right Right now but axie as soon as we're done with this room we need to work on our giant flag i want our boat to be a pirate ship whoa are pirate ships like super dangerous though exactly axie if we're the ones that are dangerous in the sea no one's gonna mess with us that is a good point can we go and steal everyone's cake sure we can do whatever we want look i just built this room over here here, which means we should start working on the flag in the middle. Come on, Axie. I'm going to place down this giant oak log over here so we can place down the flag at the top. Okay, Mongo. What should our flag design be? Our flag design should consist of black and red wool, the two best colors of all time. Wait, I think there's a lot of other good colors, like pink or white. Wait, what? No, Axie. Those are too colorful. All the enemies are going to make fun of us if we have those colors. No, they're not. Those colors are really good. Well, they're colors that are super cute and stuff. We want colors that are really, really dark. 
Pink doesn't have to be cute like me. I'm not cute. I'm super scary. Well, I don't know about that one, Axie. Come on, help me place down these blocks over here for the flag. Right now, it looks like my boat has a comb over. Wait, what's a comb over? It's a type of hairstyle, Axie. You don't need to worry about it. Let me just place down these over here just like this. There you go. This flag is going to look hashtag awesome when i'm done with it uh, what is a hashtag awesome is that a sandwich no axie it just means it's gonna be super duper cool oh i don't understand your weird human things what it's not weird axie look i'm just placing down this over here just like this and check it out now that we have the black part of the pirate ship flag what i can do is add the skull in the middle with the red all i need to do is just add a face just like this there you go and then add a smile over here whoa axie check it out this is really the flag for our pirate ship it looks super cool i'm making Making the below deck area so that later on we can stash cakes and also put people in jail. Wait, what? You're making a bottom area for the boat? Maxie, you're a genius. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. I know. I get told I'm a genius often. But while you do that, what I'm gonna do is make the captain's quarters, aka a giant bedroom for Mikey and JJ's family because they're also gonna be the captains of this boat. So come on, let me just grab some red and lime green beds just like this. And what I need to do is search up a bunch of decorations that they would have inside of their green and red room. So let me just grab all of these things just like like this there you go and now that i have all of these things what i can do is place on the green beds over here and then the red beds over here and i can customize the green side by placing down these things over here these decorations look super duper awesome and they give character to mikey's side of the room but now we need to work on jj's side so what i'm gonna do is search up red and there's a whole bunch of things that are red which is super duper cool because that means jj is gonna have all the best things in the world come on let me just grab all of these things just like that there you go a red candle a drum set and he's even gonna have his own little sink over here now all i need to do is just grab some carpets just like that and whoa check it out this room is basically done all i'm gonna do is just add some glass over here so they can see the outside world aka the sea there you go let me just add these over here let me also add some glass on top of their beds and this looks even better oh my gosh i can't wait to get jj and mikey's reactions to this come on let me just place this and boom the room is officially done all i need to do is just add these doors over here and now we have the captain's quarters inside of our ship and I just realized I need to go check on Axie and whoa, Axie, what is this? Uh, I don't know, but I can't get the water out. I keep putting sponges, but it just comes back. Don't worry. I have a simple command for that, Axie. All I need to do is just do slash slash drain and then 30. Boom. All of the water is gone now, which means we can work on the bottom part of our boat. And so far, this boat looks hashtag awesome. Come on axie what i'm gonna do is make this giant log go all the way down just like this and what we can do is make a staircase that wraps around it oh that's genius what should we build down here though well we can build all sorts of things that pirate ships would have axie let me just place down these slabs and then we can decide all i need to do is just grab these over here just like this and check it out axie this design is gonna be super duper awesome whoa it's like a cool spiral staircase 
exactly that's the whole point let me just put these down just like this there you go and boom actually we are now done with the spiral staircase which means all i need to do is just go up it just like this and you can easily get back up too wow this boat looks so good yep but come on axi since we have jj and mikey's room over here we need a few essential things down here so we can survive inside of the sea let's see probably a lot of cakes maybe some mud some pigs to be our friends and dirt blocks you know what axi having a kitchen wouldn't be a bad idea so we can definitely add one all i need to do is just get all of the items necessary so let me just grab all of these things just like this some sinks some counters and then what i'm gonna do is search up a fridge because we're definitely gonna need a fridge inside of here and why not get a stove while we're at it now that i have all of these things what i'm gonna do is build the little kitchen over here axi you see this doesn't it look super awesome it's missing all the cake though huh, hang on let me get it cake wait a second you can't eat cake in the middle of the sea and oh my gosh actually that's a lot of cake maybe you should put it at the top of the counters over here instead of around the sea okay and ah the water is getting in yeah be careful not to break anything come on let's get some chairs real quick as well well as some tables so we actually have some areas to eat in all i'm gonna do is just place down these tables and chairs just like this there you go axi now we have some areas to eat our food in and i just realized what in the world do pirates eat they probably eat stuff like people wait what that sounds super creepy i can't put people on the plate um axi rotten flesh oh you're right they probably do eat rotten fish and things like squid and stuff like that so let me just add these things on the plates and boom now we have the little kitchen area already done that basically looks like what i would think a pirate eats exactly but actually i just realized we need to have cannons in our pirate ship because we need to make sure we survive against any enemy attacks that happen don't you think that is true can we make the cannon shoot out cake what why in the world would you want them to shoot out cake if they shoot out cake it won't hurt the enemies look i have two sorts of cannons right here that we can test out and wait a second the other one fell off why in the world is this thing sliding around let me just add it just like this there you go push it over here be careful not to push these off axi and now that we have these cannons what i can do is build around them just like this there you go and now it looks super duper official we have cannons on our ship i'm gonna add them to the other side too that way we can attack our enemies on both sides how do they work though can i just click them wait i wouldn't try them out if i were you axi what if they blow up our entire ship that is a good point mongo okay i'll wait for you to try them out yeah let's try them out together let me just right click this and oh my gosh you can ride the cannon let me just right click it over here and wait what how are we supposed to use this axi maybe you have to add stuff to it gunpowder mm, maybe i don't quite know let's just leave it alone for now at least it looks really cool that's true no one's gonna want to get anywhere near our ship yeah just for reassurance though axi what i think we should do is grab some tnt and put it on the side of our base that way it can be ready to deploy if there's any sharks or different things around the sea all i need to do is just grab these trap doors as well now it looks like the tnt is being held on the side of our ship which looks super duper cool and defenseful yeah look at what 
what Wudo's building. His build isn't anywhere near as cool as ours. Wait a second. What in the world is that? Oh my gosh. That guy is so bad at building. That doesn't even look like a boat, but it's whatever, Axie. Come on. We need to stay focused on our build. And right now, it seems like it's going really, really well, but we're still not done yet. There's still a few details that we're really missing. There are? Like what? Well, for starters, we only have this TNT and cannons. We don't have any other weapons. What if other pirates raid our ship and they decide to take everything inside? We need to fight them with our hands too. So what I think we should do is add a weapon section down here. Let me just search up sword just like this and check it out. There's so many different pirate swords that we can have. Can I have squid on a stick? Wait, what? That doesn't sound like too good of a weapon, Axie. Wait, I'm gonna make a glow squid aquarium. Wait a second, Axie. What are you talking about? It's beautiful. Um, okay. Just give me one second. I'll take a look. First, I need to add these items inside of these cases over here. So when it's time to battle, we can just grab these and it'll be ready. All I need to do now is just grab this food display and then put down a bunch of golden apples because golden apples help you regenerate whenever you're in a fight. And if there's going to be pirates that attack us, then we definitely need those. But best of all, what i think we need is some armor so let me just grab some armor stands and let me add them on both sides and now we need some pirate armor that can help us survive against the sea and i think the samurai armor over here would be great for that and then also we should have this and then also we should have this armor that way we can go diving into the sea if we wanted to let me just place these down and wait what axi what are you doing over here it's so beautiful this is so that people can eat and then they can look at what they're eating um axi that sounds really disgusting no my glow squid escaped yeah plus it left so maybe it's best to get rid of this while we can okay i see your point come on axi let's get rid of this and i think what we should make next is the treasure area but before i make the treasure area what i think we should do is finish up this weapons area let me just add a few more things by adding this chest over here and this chest will have all sorts of other different weapons that we can use just in case we get attacked like some bows and some crossbows and some lucky bows just like this and what i'm gonna have in this final one is some axes pickaxes and also some spy glasses that we can use to look out into the sea check it out axie with this thing we're gonna be able to see enemies from really far away look how beautiful the sea is though it looks so cool yup the sea is really beautiful but axie are you adding little displays in the bottom of our ship yeah, so that you can look down and if there's any mean sharks that want to eat you, you can see ahead of time. Oh, that's a genius idea. I just thought about it. We should probably have that design throughout the entire bottom area, just like this. Now our ship looks 10 times cooler. There you go. Yeah. But Axie, remember how I was talking about the treasure room? Well, I think we should have it over here because boats and pirates pirates usually have a bunch of treasure in a corner somewhere to use for trades and other things like that so what i'm gonna do is grab all of this gold just like this there you go and a bunch of other things over here and now that we have all of these things actually what i'm gonna do is start building the treasure area just like this there you go let me just add these over here just like that doesn't this look super cool Wow, this barrel looks super fancy. Exactly. It's a golden barrel, Axie. Check it out. This ultimate treasure room in the world. And I just thought about it. Speaking of barrels, we can add the barrels at the top and it's going to add a lot of detail for the pirate ship. So come on, let's go do that right now. All I need to do is just search up these barrels and these definitely look like things that pirates would have on their ship. Right, Axie? 
look at these things. They're perfect for this ship. This one's full of fish. Yup, this one's full of carrots. This one is full of apples. There's just a whole bunch of things that we have inside of our ship. There you go. Let me just put this down. And actually, I just thought about it. We're in the middle of the sea, but we don't know where we're gonna go. So we should probably have a table with a map on it, right? That is true. I just kind of thought we'd sail in a random direction, but it would be good to know where we're going. Exactly. Let me just put down this map over here, then two maps over here. And now the captain of the sea can look out into the maps and then take a spyglass and look out into the sea. And uh, wait a second. Is there a helicopter up there or am I seeing things? Is what a spying on us? Hey, Wudo, is that you? Oh, gosh, I think they spotted me. I better go hide. What the heck is Wudo doing in that helicopter? I don't know, Axie, but that gives me an idea. If Wudo has a helicopter, then maybe we should have something similar just as an escape plan if things go wrong. Come over here. What I'm going to do is break these barrels just like this, and I'm going to add a little area back here with the spot that we can have for our helicopter. Let me just add it just like this. There you go. Come on, Axie. This is going to look super cool. All I need to do is just search up helicopter just like this. And we can add one right over here. And then what I can also do is add a bunch of boats on the side just in case we need to leave with them. Let me just add this over here. These are going to be what I call escape boats. Whoa. And they even have chests on them so that you can escape with all your pirate loot. Exactly. Now we can ride this helicopter to the top of the map just like this and we can get away if the boat gets destroyed but the boat isn't getting destroyed right now so what i'm gonna do is land the helicopter back on here and actually i just realized what did you realize we don't have anywhere to sleep inside of the ship right now there's a bedroom for mikey and jj but where are we gonna sleep axie oh that's a good point i thought i was gonna sleep in the barrel of cod but that's not that comfortable no silly we can't sleep on that come on help me build our bedroom all i need to do is just expand the ship just like this and what we can do is just create a bedroom back here that's Sounds good, Mongo. I'll add the fences back in. We don't need fences, Axie. We just need wood logs over here. Let me just add these for the walls and it'll be perfect. The fences are just there in the front. That way we don't fall off. Oh, I see. Yeah, exactly. And now what I'm going to do is just finish off our little area by just breaking the corners. And Axie, I think that looks about right, except for this one block over here there you go now that we have this it's perfect what we can do is use this entire little area to build our bedroom let me just place down the walls real quick just like this there you go and actually i just realized for our wall design what we can do is actually place down a bunch of glass that way we can look out into the sea and see what's going on just like this that makes sense mongo it's gonna look super cool exactly let me just add these just like that and i just realized this area needs to have a broken wall one just like that there you go and boom this looks perfect which means we can make it go up one more with the glass over here and now we can add the roof to our room Axie. we can yep let me just add it over here just like this there you go Oh, and check it out. Now we have an empty room to work with. Whoa. Okay, I know you said it was going to be our bedrooms, but can't we also put other cool stuff in there? Like an Olympic-sized swimming pool? Wait, what? Why would we want a swimming pool inside of a boat if the ocean is right there? How about we add a TV and things like that, Axie? But, Mongo, we can't go swimming in the ocean. There's sharks. Well, we can go scuba diving with our armor that i added earlier but actually look at this the 
whole room is empty, I'm gonna start placing down all of our beds right now while I have the chance. Okay, Mongo. I am just fixing the bottom so that it still looks super cool. Whoa, you're adding a bottom part to this too, Axie? Let me check it out. And <gasps> This is gonna be so cool. I can't wait. We should definitely put a swimming pool down here. Yeah, look over here, Axie. I placed down our beds right there. And then what I can do over here in these corners is add some foods for us to eat whenever we want. Like a barrel of apples and golden apples, just like this. There you go. This will be our food supply. Then in this corner, what I can do is add a bunch of plushies for us to play with whenever we want, just like this. This will be our plushy corner. There you go. Actually, doesn't this look awesome? Yeah, and I finished the bottom part, so we can put something else down there. No way. Great job here. I already have an idea for this bottom part. Let me just slash slash drain real quick, just like this. And now that we have this entire bottom part empty, what we can do is build a little staircase going down, Axie, just like this. Oh, I thought we were just going to use a ladder, but a staircase is way fancier. Whoa, ladders would be pretty convenient and they wouldn't take up that much space. So maybe you're onto something, Axie. But let me see how these staircases look first real quick. And hmm, you might be right. A ladder would be better than these stairs because they're taking up too much space. Yeah, we don't have that much space at the bottom of our pirate ship. Exactly. So let me just go over here and just put this down over here just like this. And then what I can do is just grab these ladders just like this. And boom, Axie, now we have a way to get down to our secret little room what i'm gonna do is add a trap door that way we have a door to go down and up it there you go and in this bottom area what we're gonna have is a giant entertainment room let me just add some rainbow sofas just like this then what i'm gonna do is add some speakers over here as well just like this check it out axi doesn't this look ginormous uh, Whoa, it's so cool. Exactly. I'm even going to add the black wall for the TV just like this. And boom, now we have a ginormous TV with a bunch of speakers. And to make this room even cooler, actually, what I'm going to do is grab some paintings and also some painting tools because we're probably going to be really, really bored out in the sea. So it's best to have things that can make us entertained. Let me just grab a pad it over here just like this and now that i have those things i can add the painting tools right over here just like this there you go and i can add the palette over here so we can paint right there and i can also have a bunch of paintings all over here that way it looks super cool and decorative whoa this is a really fancy pirate ship exactly this area down here it's supposed to be super duper Super cool and no one's gonna know about it which is awesome but actually we're not even done with our bedroom yet come on what i'm gonna do is add us some laptops i know pirates aren't really that modern but we're gonna be the super cool new pirates in town so what i'm gonna do is just add these paintings over here just like this there you go these paintings will represent the screens for our laptop and then all i need to do is just grab some pressure plates and this will be the keyboard for our laptops check it out we have laptops now who says pirates can't use the internet exactly look what i'm even gonna do now is grab some carpets to make the middle of our room look super duper awesome i'm gonna grab all of these colors that match our colors and i'm gonna put a random pattern all over the place just like this that way we have a little design going and also we we have all of our colors now now what i'm gonna do is add our nightstand just like this and then some candles on top over here for some extra design there you go check it out axi what do you think of our room so far i think i want to live here forever 
it, Mongo. Exactly. It's super duper awesome. And looking around in our boat, I think we're pretty much done. I see this boat looks amazing. What do you say we go check out Wudo's base? I don't know if I want to go on Wudo's base. It's kind of scary looking. Yeah, his base probably isn't the best, but we still need to see it. So let me just add these doors over here. And now let's go over there and wait, what? What in the world is this? Uh, wait, what? Wudo is sleeping right now. Come on, let's wake him up with a prank. No, let's steal all his stuff and... Wait, he doesn't really have anything worth stealing, aside from these plushies. Yeah, what am I looking at right now? Come on, Axie. What I'm gonna do is grab some TNT, and I'm gonna explode it next to him. Luckily, we're inside of the ocean, so nothing's gonna explode. Let me just grab this, and then let me just grab some flint and steel, and hopefully Wudo wakes up from this. Are you ready, Axie? Yeah, do it. Boom, I just blew it up, and oh, God. Gosh, I just realized it's exploding in the bottom of the sea. Oh, what was that noise? Wait, Mongo, Axie, what were you guys trying to do to me while I was taking a nap on my amazing raft boat? It was just me farting, Wudo. Yeah, we weren't doing anything. And wait, what did you call it, Wudo? A raft boat? What does that even mean? It's a boat and a raft in one, guys. Check it out. This is our cooking area where we can chillax and enjoy a nice time by the campfire. And then over here, I have the toy area where Mikey and JJ's kids can play with a bunch of toys. And last but not least, I have my king size bed with a toilet on top. So if I need to go poop in the middle of the night, I don't have to go far. Ew, Wudo, you're gonna poop above your bed? What if some poop falls onto your bed? Ew, Mongo, it's a good thing I'm good at aiming my butt, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, whatever you say. What in the world is this over here, Wudo? Well, this is my helicopter that I'm going to use to drop nukes on your base. Bye. Wait, what, Wudo? You're not gonna do anything. Come on, land your helicopter over here on top of my ship. I broke it. Nuke dropping it. Aw, oh, man. Why'd you break it, Axie? Because you're not allowed to nuke our amazing boat that's way better than yours. Yeah, good job, Axie. Come on, Wudo. We can show you around our boat. Right here is where the captain is gonna be driving the boat from. Over here, we have a treasure map map for the captain we have cannons for all the enemies barrels full of food and then right over here is jj and mikey's room oh wow that actually looks sick and then is this our room back here Yup, Wudo, this is our room with laptops, and then we have our own beds, plushies, bunch of food in the corner, and there's even a secret room right here, Wudo. Ooh, really? Yup, Wudo, this secret room goes down to our entertainment room, where we have a giant TV, then we have paint supplies over here, so whenever we're bored in the sea, we can use that, and that's about it. Wow, that actually is pretty fancy, Mongo. This is a pretty cool boat, but I do think that my boat is still better in. Oh, <gasps> wait. What? What is this? Is this treasure? Yes, Wudo. This is the bottom of our sea. As you can see, we have a bunch of treasure over here. Then we have a bunch of weapons to use against enemies over here. That includes armor, swords, bows, and even golden apples. But best of all, Wudo, we have a kitchen over here in this corner with pirate food. What? Forget the pirate food. Mongo, I'm going to plunder your loot give it all to me hey wudo you're not allowed to take our loot what are you doing oh gosh mongo your boat's leaking wudo stop breaking my boat what's wrong with you sorry i'm just trying to be a pirate and i just got all your gold thanks bye there's just one little piece left you know what i've had enough with wudo what i'm gonna do is drive the boat and Wait, what? Did I just destroy the entire boat? Mongo, you just nuked everything! Oh, 
Oh my gosh, are you serious? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.